This cell phone video shows Oakland School District security officers trying to evict parents from a school they've occupied for 10 weeks. The parents are demanding that those they say brutally attacked them Thursday be brought to justice. Max Orozco says he was physically assaulted, injured, cuffed, and detained against his will. These things carry consequences, and those consequences have to be taken into these people that gave those instructions and the people that gave orders to follow it, as well as the people that assaulted me. For a lot of people, schools are just schools, buildings, that sometimes are open and sometimes get closed. But that is not the case here, not by a long shot. This is where we educate our entire community across the nation. This is where resources are supposed to go in. The issue is public controlled public education. OESC keeps saying closing schools are not closing schools. They're replacing them with charter schools. We can't keep pushing our public education away and charterizing it and privatizing it. We gotta make sure that our public education stays public. The state of California has a $90 billion surplus right now, okay? We're not in a deficit. That's right. We don't have a, a, a lack of resources. The district issued a statement that misses no words. The individuals at Parker have been and continue to trespass. We have directed them to leave from day one and have continued to do so on many other occasions. At this time, the occupiers continue to occupy and say they mean to stay. We're here to serve our community by any means necessary. The district says its biggest concern is for the safety of the children sleeping in the building with unlicensed child care. Tom Baker, KTVU Fox 2 News.